Hi folks, Reillusion's latest updates to Character Creator 3.4 and iClone 7.9 bring new scan-derived ARKit expressions as well as new tools and workflows for facial mocap and manual facial animation. Updating your avatars is easy and it all starts here in Character Creator. I'm starting here with a CC3 Plus avatar which hasn't been updated, so this could be any CC3 Plus avatar. In Character Creator 3.4, this will work exactly as before, so adding the new expressions is completely optional. Now, Character Creator is for modeling and posing characters, as well as testing them before animation in iClone. And facial expressions are controlled in Character Creator through the Edit Facial panel. This includes all the usual expressions and controls for standard avatars, including custom expression sliders, which are usually grayed out. And in order to maintain compatibility as well as to extend the facial animation abilities of avatars, it's these custom expressions which will be used for the update. There are three ways to update the avatar. Checking the expression panel drop-down will show additional sets of X plus expressions, which, if you select one of the new expressions, will prompt you to update. Now, it's important to note that if you do update the avatar, then if you have custom expressions already loaded, these will be replaced by the new expressions. And if you decide not to update, then of course the new expressions will not be enabled. You can also update the avatar through the muscle panel by selecting an X plus expression set from the new dropdown. And the third way to update the avatar is via the content panel. Navigating through to the new Actor Project Template Facial Profile folder, you'll find the new Aculips and X plus profile. This is the same profile which can be loaded through Edit Facial and allows you to choose which expression sets to add to the avatar. So, now the avatar is updated, returning to Edit Facial, you can see that it still works as before, with all of the usual expressions, and with an additional default expression in each folder, which means you can zero the face at any time. But now that the avatar is updated, this means that the new expressions are enabled, so you can start using them straight away. You'll notice that the latest expressions are generally bigger and more realistic, affecting more of the avatar's face than the defaults. This is because they've been derived from human scans, formatted for iPhone motion capture, thanks to human scanning experts, ICVR. And whilst the approach is different from the default, which is designed more for blending expressions, the approaches are interchangeable and can be used together. Also, new tongue expressions mean it can now be used in live face mocap as well as general animation. Though it's important for character artists to bear in mind that for tongue expressions to work properly, it will be worth refining the relationship between the tongue, teeth and lips using modeling morphs to ensure that the tongue is working well for the particular character you're working on. So the update maintains full compatibility and this means that default expression sliders remain unchanged, whereas custom sliders have now been extended and filled up with the new ARKit and tongue expressions. Moving now to the Edit Facial Muscle panel for direct manipulation of parts of the face. With the avatar updated, the new expression set drop-down at the top allows you to switch between the usual default and the new expression set to determine which expressions are used by the panel. You can switch between these at any time to give the benefit of both approaches. Muscle panel functions have also been updated to make it faster to use, so you can now choose symmetrical selections and also increase or decrease mouse sensitivity using the slider. High sensitivity means less drag to reach maximum extent. And of course, you can also control global strength of all active expressions using the usual expressiveness slider. But probably one of the most important new edit facial functions, and this also applies to face key in iClone, is being able to use double right click on an active expression to reset it back to zero. You can also right click anywhere in the space surrounding the solo feature selection head to deselect current selections. Of course, using the muscle panel is really simple. It's designed that way, so that you can create and fine-tune expressions as simply and as quickly as possible, and this makes it really intuitive to use. Most features respond logically to simple mouse up and down actions, with horizontal actions introduced where appropriate, such as to rotate the eyes and jaw from side to side. And whilst I could describe every single part and how the mouse controls each one, it's really child's play to become familiar with manipulating the face something which anyone can learn really quickly. So I'll speed through much of the editing here and focus only on those areas where a little extra understanding will help. For example, here, the outer upper mouth parts will open the lips, bearing the teeth when moved up, 
but when moved down they'll also roll the upper lip under and the outer lower mouth parts open the lips when moved down but also roll the lower lip when moved up. Just playing now but if you watch carefully you'll notice just how effective the new expressions are. Whether it's the ears moving slightly along with the jaw and more extreme mouth expressions the eyelids moving naturally with the eyes as they rotate, or the way the skin moves on the cheeks and forehead. On bald models, you'll even notice that the skull moves more naturally, as if muscles are contracting and relaxing underneath the skin. Next, selecting the new X Plus Tongue Expression Set. This is exactly the same as the normal X Plus Set, only it provides a way to pose the tongue using the mouse based on the central mouth selections and jaw. It's important to understand that the tongue is handled separately, so you can combine the tongue with mouth and lip expressions to make finished poses. The centre mouth selection will push out the tongue when dragged down, push it back in when moved up, and also move it horizontally. Opening the jaw will move the tongue up slightly so that it's more aligned for open mouth tongue expressions. So here, I'm using the centre mouth after the open jaw to bring the tongue out further. Next, using the central below mouth selection allows you to raise and lower the tongue, and the central above mouth selection allows you to curl the tongue tip up and down. And the trick is to combine tongue poses with the lips to make more complete expressions. You still have many of the standard X plus lip functions available using the tongue expression set, but you can also set up the tongue and then from the expression set drop down, use the full X plus expression set as well as the default set to make things even more expressive. Now, using the muscle panel on its own is just one way to use the tongue, but since you have access to tongue presets via the expression panel, you can apply a preset to get started, then modify further back in the muscle panel using the mouse, and you can also use the individual tongue sliders directly via the modify panel custom sliders section. I'm finishing off this tutorial by doing some face editing on various avatars. This is really just scratching the surface of the new possibilities offered by Reillusion's new expressions and tools, and it's worth bearing in mind that posing the face, as well as the tongue here in Character Creator, amounts to just a single frame of animation, and it's animation which I'll be looking at in the next tutorials. Thanks for watching.